Hi, welcome to the next episode of Look Closer. Today we're going to continue our series on peacock spiders and we're going to find out where to find them. Peacock spiders are what's called endemic. An endemic is just a sciencey word for only found in one place, which in this case, for peacock spiders, is Australia. But that doesn't mean that all peacock spiders are found all across Australia. There's only a couple of species that are found coast to coast, the rest have much smaller ranges. Let's check out the habitats of those wide ranging species first, and then we'll get into some of my west coast local species. Alright, the first species we're going to look at is the humble pav, Maratus pavonis. This is by far the most common species, east coast to west coast, anywhere you look you'll find these guys. They're common in all kinds of habitats from backyards to lawns, native forests and even in the house sometimes. But there's one type of habitat that they really love and that's this one. This is Banksia leaf litter. Here we've got a nice big bull Banksia and underneath it we've got really nice thick leaf litter of all its shed leaves. And I've never seen so many Pavonis as I've seen in this sort of habitat. But it's not just the Pavs that like this habitat. If you can find it, there are a couple of other local species that will like it as well. You might find gem peacocks, you might find shield peacocks, even spicatus, and the next species we're going to look at, which is Chrysomelus. So let's check out Chrysomelus. Now Chrysomelus is one of our smaller species again, so it's only three or four millimetres long, even as an adult. It's found all the way across the south of the continent, from east to west, and then up the east coast as well. In, at least in Western Australia, you will find Chrysomelus in that last habitat we looked at, the deep banks here leaf. They seem to prefer this kind of habitat. So this is fine, loose sand, open banks here woodland. And you'll often just find them hopping around on top of these, this open sand and any little bits of leaf litter that are on top of that. You'll also find the little yellow and black guys, Spicatus, hopping around here as well. And it's often difficult to tell the juveniles of those two species apart. So let's go and check out the beach, the, our final habitat for this episode. As you can see, I've not taken you to some remote wilderness area. I'm actually in the middle of the Perth suburbs and there are peacock spiders all around me. Let's have a look at the coastal peacock spider, Maratus speciosus. It's probably gonna be all the way through these dunes up here, all through the spin effects and all through the dune vegetation. But if you can find these couple of plants, you'll really increase your chances of finding them. Okay, so the first is this one, sea spinach. It's a succulent, it's low to the ground and it grows right close to the water. You'll probably find quite a few peacocks on this one, but this is the one you really want to look out for. It's called coastal onion grass. This time of the year it's all brown and, and uh, a bit scrubby, but in, uh, in spring you'll find that this is actually a really big bush and these guys just love it. You're actually going to find another peacock spider in this exact same habitat. That's called the black mirror peacock spider. It's not as showy as the other ones, but it's still a good find. So the boys are black and shiny, and the girls are the complete opposite. They're white and fluffy, and they love this stuff. So they're really dry beach rack, and you'll even find them just on the bare sand as well. One more important thing to remember when you're trying to find a good habitat for peacock spiders is they're not all uniformly distributed throughout the habitat. So even if you find a really suitable habitat, they, you might not find them, but that doesn't mean that they're far away. So if you find a big area of good habitat, make sure you search it thoroughly because they will be clustered. And if you find one, you're probably gonna find more close by. 